Marty Schwartz here from guitarjams.com hanging out with Papa Stash. Mm. I told him he could only come back if he had the mustache. And here it is. And here it is. Thank you. Thank you. Um, like 36 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Kapowie! <laughs> uh, anyway, Brett's going to teach uh, the. Uh, we pretty much we have time for you to teach the first half of the okay. Crazy Train solo. We'll do it. Okay, and we'll bring you back again Sweet. to finish it. But I do have a request list that I prefer to take my request down there. And when you sign it, you get a bunch of exclusive lessons, not from YouTube, mm-hmm. which is nice, mm-hmm. and a free ebook, which has your pentatonic shapes, mm-hmm. which you've heard of that scale. Yes, I have. <laughs> I think. And, uh, you know, other helpful stuff. But anyway. I have a request. Yeah. Molly Hatchet. Flirting with disaster. All right. Now you, you have to do you it. You heard it. You heard you it out there. You have to do it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Brett and I go way back. Brett had the, uh, you know, the... Ozzy Osbourne tribute T-shirt and the mullet, in seventh <laughs> yes. grade. Yes, I did. Yeah, but people like they started to mess with the guitar pick. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. The girlfriend guy. And people are like, "Oh, great! Uh, I'm really gra- glad that you're hanging out with your your friend and everything." All right, so Crazy Train intro to the solo. <laughs> Aren't you getting um, less? It's just a tapping run, uh, but it's a little bit different. Wow. Usually, people just tap, you know. Kind of Van Halen style. This one uh, is similar, but what you're going to do is it, right? So you're going to start with a tap. So what you do is you tap the 14th fret, pull off to the 10th, to the 7th, and hammer back on. That's the first pattern. Then after that, what you're going to, so you got, and then it's going to go again. But now, same fret, same everything, but you're going to hammer on twice. So it's going to go. And then uh, what we're going to do... That's why I brought him here. Yeah! That's right. The only thing you're going to do different after that is you're going to move it up to the 15th fret. And so you got... Right? Okay. So that's the first part. Milk it. Yeah, slowly. And then you're going to go to the 12th fret and go, right? So what you're going to do is it's a, a, like a four fret stretch. So you got ninth fret to the 12th fret. And then your same shape, but down two frets. So it's, into a bend. Is you're gonna grab the uh, G string ninth fret up a whole step, and then you're gonna grab simultaneously this tenth uh, fret of the B string. So we got. So bend. And then release the bend, and then bring it back up together. A little vibrato, because it's always nice. Okay, so. Next part, you're going to go down to the uh, 17th fret, 16th fret, 14th fret. So it's, that's a rake. So all a rake is, and in the um, original version, he does like a sweep, but in the live version, it's just a rake. So uh, what you're going to do is a rake just means you're going to palm mute the strings hard enough to where it's just percussive sounds before the actual striking of the note that you're trying to land on. So it goes... Right, so this is out of the F sharp uh, minor pentatonic position, or, or yeah. So the uh, what you're gonna do is it's basically gonna follow a pentatonic pattern except for this note. So you got. Right, so again, so it's 17, 16, 14, and then a bend on the 17th fret of the B string. Rake again.
Okay, and then that brings us into this little uh, pentatonic riff that he does. It kind of combines a uh, blues major and minor pentatonic. Yeah, this this is a. No, I love this run. I'm, I'm looking forward to learning it. Yeah, so we got. So we got, let's see, how's that go? It's so funny playing it slow. All right, so we, we're back to the uh, pentatonic riff here. So we got hammer on. So you got a hammer on to the 17th, pull off to the 14th. You're gonna grab the 17th of the B and then go back to the 14th of the E. And then you're going to go down the minor part of the scale. So it's pull off from 17 to 15. And then this is where you mix the major and minor blues pentatonic. So it's going to go 17, pull off to 14, 16, pull off to 14, 16, 14, and then Okay, again, one more time really slowly. finishes up with the first part of the solo. Stay tuned next time for the second.